nice sunny day in Honduras. Hey, we're here in uh, Chile, down in Patagonia, on this amazing river. Today we're going to go through our James Brewery rooftop tent and show you the pluses and minuses of it. This particular model is the Grand Raid XXL and is equivalent to a queen size bed and feels quite spacious. We purchased this four years ago. There's plenty of room to spare and you could easily sleep three and sit up just fine. The obvious advantage in this style over a soft top roof tent has been great. No more folding up a wet tent after a rainy night. We hooked the tent on our roof rack that I built quite a long time ago. Just built out of one inch tubing. It's probably overbuilt. <laughs> we also have an electrical connectors that lead to where our battery bank is from the solar panels that are on top of the roof. We have a hookup here for a ladder if we want to go in through the side but we rarely we just usually go in through the back. The roof rack has held up really well. We got hooks on it for who knows what. We did also Put these brackets on in each corner. Found that in Australia the corrugated roads are so bad. Even with the way the tent is hooked on by the factory with brackets in the middle, these ends would go up and down. It would vibrate just a little bit. So I put these brackets on in each corner. These are the bolts that go through to the arms that lift it. So that was actually a good mod. It actually <laughs> firmed it up quite a bit. Here's the humble abode. We really like the way it's set up. So what we like about our James Brood is uh, it's nice, it's big, it's easy to put up, it's easy to take down. We've had other rooftop tents in the past. When they're wet, it's a nightmare. You have to sit around, let them dry. If it's raining, forget it. You're just gonna stay there for more nights. This tent does not really get wet. It's easy to wipe off the sides and just fold it up. The mattress is fair. We put an, an extra one inch thick foam pad that we purchased in Australia and it makes it much more comfortable. Uh, it's nice because we can leave the bedding in it and fold it down. It's, it's been really good. We do like all the windows. This is one benefit of a James Brood tent. All these panoramic windows, they're amazing. And for ventilation on a hot day, it's incredible. Pretty much opens up the whole top. So it makes it really actually really nice. The sides, the fabric, the material, no problems. Hold up better than I thought, especially with all the UV. It's, it's waterproof. Uh, it's strange material. When it gets cold, it gets stiffer. Uh, the internal net is nice to have. The hydraulic struts tend to make it go up and down nicely, but there, there's one in each corner, you can see. Um, and behind. They, w when it's warm out, they have a little more kick to them than when it's cold. Um, you can tell. We have the fan. The fan works, it's solar powered. It's been going for two years now without any issues. The solar charger still works, the solar batteries still work, it's crazy. You can see this one spot down here starting to wear and along the edges. Uh, the damage in the back is mainly caused what I believe by on heavily, heavily corrugated roads, and I mean hundreds of miles of them that we drove, it, it seems to rub between the two shells in that one location. The other section that gets a lot of wear is on the same thing in the back in this same area right here. You see where it's uh, rubbing? We ran into some people in Australia actually that rent vehicles with this tent and they uh, have the same wear spots. but. Four years of hell roads is, we believe actually, it's held up really well. I've been watching it. it. Hasn't gotten any worse since we left Australia, which is good. And then the shell cracking on the front. It's not in a stress location, so I'm not sure why it cracked a little bit, but this thing was treated pretty rough. What we haven't liked is the dismal ladder that was so skinny, it would have been a nightmare to use after a fun night. We actually have the Grand Raid XXL. It's got a 
dome roof so it, it has a cargo hold in it. I would probably not get that model again. This is on the inside, shortens the height inside, just on the back, so it's not that big a deal. But when it rains, it collects water and it doesn't drain very well. So when you put the rooftop tent down, you have to be careful not to take a shower. We've replaced a few of the zipper tabs with cord as they broke. I think I'm gonna actually cut off all of them and put that cord in all of them. These zippers right here, jingle. And when it's a really windy out, that jingly little zipper is very irritating at night. The Velcro on the main door that we use, it gets worn out. We're gonna actually have to replace the Velcro on that because it's nice to have that seal. Oh, the ribs. Make it hard to mount solar panels. Other than that, I don't think there's anything wrong with this tent. It's been beautiful. What are the big differences between this tent and our old tent? It's easier to put up. Heavy, nice fabric. I think the ceiling on our old tent was a little bit taller. It's bigger. I like the fan. It's got more windows. Way big windows. It's got a storage net in the ceiling. Um, we have some friends in Santiago that have auto home. They sell auto home tents. And it's got some nice features as well. Both of them are seem to be really nice and up to the task. I don't know if I would switch to an auto home. Uh, this has been really good for us. After four years of living full time with the James Brood Grand Raid XXL, we're pretty happy. It's held up very well considering the daily use and abuse that we've put it through. We really like the numerous windows. When you open up, it's perfect on a warm night. It's also extremely sturdy in high winds and much quieter than our traditional soft top version. That made sleeping in the high winds in Patagonia quiet and enjoyable. Yes, it's an expensive rooftop tent, but we think it was a great choice for us. Now I'm going to enjoy the beautiful weather because this river is amazing. Thanks. See you later. If you have any questions, send them to us. Speak to you in the future. So I would say in short, we're actually really pleased. In conclusion, uh, we really like our James Brood tent. Uh, we thought it was a good investment. It's held up really well. And uh, tell us what you think about the video. Uh, send us any questions. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.